Okay, this is module three, lesson one, problem set, question number three. Create a scale in order to graph the numbers negative 12 through 12 on a number line. What does each tick mark represent? Okay, so I created the number line for us already. And one of the things you want to remember is that when we create a number line, all the numbers as we move to the right get greater. As you move to the left on your number line, these numbers now are less. Okay, so any mark you put on, let's say negative five, any mark that's to the left of negative five is going to be less than this value. Anything to the right is gonna be greater than that value. Another thing to remember is that you wanna have the same scale as you move from mark to mark. So here we're scaling by one digit intervals. One to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, and the same thing on the negative side. If you want to scale by twos, that's fine as well, but it needs to be consistent on both sides. So you can't have one, two, three, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. You want to have the same scale going either way. All right, and each tick mark represents one unit. Okay, so from here to here, that's one unit. Let's look at question four. It says choose an integer between negative five and ten, label it R on the number line above and complete the following tasks. All right, so we're going between negative five and negative 10. I'm gonna choose negative six. And we're gonna label that R. Question A says, what is the opposite of R? Well, the opposite means it's the same distance away from zero on the other side of zero. So here we're to the left of zero. To find the opposite, we wanna to be to the right of zero. So how far is it away from zero? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. So on the right side, it's gonna be six spots away from zero, which is six. And we're gonna label that Q. Okay, so to go from here to here is six. To go from zero to regular six is six. All right, question B. State a positive integer greater than Q. So we're starting at Q and a positive integer that's greater than Q, again, we said as we move to the right on our number line, our values are greater. So I'm gonna choose eight. That's to the right of Q. I'm gonna label that T. Question C, state a negative integer greater than R. Well, here's R, and we said for values to be greater, we're gonna to move to the right. And they're really saying they want a negative integer, so it has to be one of these five integers. So I'm gonna choose negative three. And we're gonna label that S. All right, question D says, state a negative integer less than R. And we're gonna label that U. So again, for our values to be less than R, we're gonna be moving or looking to the left of this point. So to the left of R, we have a couple of choices. I'm gonna choose negative nine. That's gonna be U. And question E, state an integer between R and Q and label it V. So here's R, here's Q, and I'm gonna pick negative one. That falls right between those and label it V. Okay, and that's problem set number one, questions three and four.